today's video, we're making kids snacks, great for the school holidays or lunch boxes. So the first thing we're going to be making is some banana peanut butter choc chip muffins. So I've melted my butter and I'm allowing it to cool. And then I'm taking three ripe bananas and I'm just going to be mashing them up to make sure that they're nice and smooth to go into my butter. butter. So I've added most of my dry ingredients to the banana and the melted butter. Now I'm going to add my egg. After the egg comes the rest of the ingredients, including the crunchy peanut butter, the salt, the vanilla essence, the baking powder, and the bicarbonate of soda, or what you call baking soda in America. This recipe is really, really easy. I will say that you can add more peanut butter if you prefer a more peanut buttery taste. Um, I thought these were great the way they were, but if you wanted to add more peanut butter, you probably could. I would say no more than an extra tablespoon or two. Then I'm just going to mix everything all together. This really doesn't need a hand mixer of any kind. A wooden spoon works equally well. You don't want to over mix your batter, otherwise your muffins are going to come out quite tough. The next thing we're going to do is use an ice cream scoop just to scoop the batter into prepared muffin cases and then we're going to bake these on 180 degrees um, for about 15 to 20 minutes until they are cooked. Please note that oven time will vary depending on the oven so you just need to keep an eye on them to make sure that they don't burn or to make sure that they are cooked all the way through. wait until they were cool before you try to take them out of the tin or if you're me you can burn your fingers. <laughs> I was just impatient, they smelled so fantastic and I wanted to have one with my tea so I took them out of the muffin cases and the muffin tin when they were hot and let them cool down. These are absolutely delicious and they last a few days in the muffin tin. The next recipe we're going to be making are corn dog muffins. If you've not heard of corn dog muffins before they are basically savory muffins that are made using hot dog sausages and we're going to pop these hot dog sausages that we've cut up in between layers of batter you'll see in the end um, as with all the other recipes from this video they will be in my corresponding blog post which I will link to in the description box below so I'm going to cut up these hot dog sausages put them aside melt my butter and let that cool down slightly melted my butter and now I'm going to be making some buttermilk. I don't usually use buttermilk so I don't buy it very often and if I do need to use buttermilk I just make my own. Here I'm using some oat milk and some apple cider vinegar to make my buttermilk. You basically just put the amount of milk that you need in a bowl and then you add a teaspoon or maybe slightly more of apple cider vinegar or vinegar and you leave that to stand while you prepare the rest of the recipe. When it's needed, you just add in your um, prepared or homemade buttermilk and it works just as well as any other buttermilk that you will find on the shelves at the supermarket. Just giving my surface a wipe down, I'm going to add another half a cup of milk to my bowl. I'm going to add my egg into the mixture as well and then that's going to be followed by the dry ingredients. Um, once all the dry ingredients are in, I'll toss in my homemade buttermilk, mix it all together, and then I can start spooning it into the muffin cases.
You'll notice I start off with a wooden spoon and then I get out a whisk just to make sure that there's no lumps in the batter. And now I'm going to start scooping the corn dog mixture into the muffin cases. I'm filling up the muffin cases by half and then I'm going to sprinkle in some bits of the hot dog sausage and then I'm going to put some more mixture of the corn dog mixture on top just to make sure that those hot dogs are actually in the middle of the um, corn dog muffins rather than letting them sink to the bottom. And then I'm going to bake these in an oven at 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the oven of course. These corn dog muffins are delicious, fruit skewers cut open with a peanut butter, butter in between, honey and yogurt dip. Or you can so easy to make. Dip them in a little I'm bit just using my whole earth peanut butter here and I'm going to pop two big rounded teaspoons of peanut butter into a bowl and then I'm going to heat that up slightly in the microwave just to make it a little bit easier to work with. Next thing I'm going to add some honey. You can use whichever honey is your favorite. Local honey is always best if you can get hold of it. I'm going to use three te big teaspoons there. And then I'm going to add in the Greek yogurt when I'm done mixing up the honey and the peanut butter together. If you like, if you wanted to make this dairy free, you could just use the peanut butter and the honey. But then I would serve it immediately because the peanut butter and the honey can go a little bit difficult to dip in um, if it gets too cold. So I'm going to add in my yogurt here now, give it a good mix up, pop this into a glass um, dish and then pop it into the fridge until I'm finished making my fruit skewers. As you will see on my chopping board, I have a variety of fruits that I've washed and prepared. I've cut them into small bite-sized chunks so that it's easy to thread them on the bamboo skewers. And literally...
Here's the finished product. This is great for dessert if you wanted to have fruit for pudding or great for an afternoon snack when the kids come home from school. You can make them in the morning or the kids can help you to prepare them. If you like this video, don't forget thumbs up and thanks for watching.